Hello everyone. I'm so excited to be here today and present to you my paper, Distortion Disentangled Contrastive Learning at WACV 2024, which I will refer to simply as DDCL in this presentation. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Jin Feng Wang and I'm currently a PhD student at Xi'an Jiao Tong Liverpool University and uh, also visiting PhD student at uh, the Miracle Lab of USTC. For today's presentation, I will be covering three major sections, background, methodology, and the results. In background section, I will introduce positive pair only contrastive learning distortion variant representation, and our motivation. Then in methodology section, I will describe our baseline method, related works, and the proposed framework DDCL. Finally, I am going to talk and demonstrate the performance of DDCL in various properties analysis, as well as interesting findings. Firstly, I would like to start by introducing the best known type of contrastive learning method, which I call positive negative samples contrastive learning. The main drawback of this method is that it requires a large batch size to store enough negative samples. Otherwise, some tricks such as feature queen or sample selection are needed to reduce the memory burden. To overcome these shortcomings, some positive pair only contrastive learning methods have been widely studied. PLCL aims to put together the semantic representations of positive samples of the same instance subjected to different distortions. This type of representation we call distortion invariant representation, or DIR for short. This means that the contrast precise relies only on positive samples that make POCL methods batch size free and memory friendly. Analyzing the principles of POCL further, we find that there are some implicit assumptions or expectations here. The first ex expectation in POCL, the model is expected to be insensitive to all the heterogeneity resulting from distortion. The second expectation is that the semantics of the target feature is absolutely robust to distortion. We think these are two ideal expectations. Regarding the first expectation, some tasks require the model to be sensitive to some distortion, such as retention sensitivity for some image corrections. Regarding the second expectation, the semantics of instance is, is task-based. For instance, Color transformations very much affect the fine grain classification of flower. These implicit expectations are because POCL ignores the heterogeneity caused by the distortion or augmentations. We call this representation of heterogeneity distortion variant representation, or DVR for short. Our proposed uh, DDCL that adaptively disentangles and supervises DVR to enhance the model's diverse performance. In our present study, we are mainly based on SimSim, which represents the asymmetric approach, and the Barlow twins, which are represents the symmetric approach. They also use the different forms to express the proximity of the IRs and uh, trained with different loss functions. Next, I would like to present some studies on DVRs to illustrate the novelty of our proposed approach. Look achieves DIR and DVR supervision by constructing different Latin space with specific positive and negative sample repetitioning according to the distortion strategy. DSSL makes the model sensitive to rotational distortion through additional rotational prediction layers. This means an additional set of rotational prediction data must be constructed. 
It could model lengthier equivariance of distortions in feature space by predefining elements for different uh, distortions and constructing an additional mapping in the model. In contrast to previous works, our proposed DCL requires no additional structural design or data reorganization and is adaptive to various distortions without distortion-specific modifications. Next, I will introduce our proposed DDCL. DDCL disentangles the output of the backbone network into DIR and DVR and fits them into their respective mapping layers. Then, the DVR is supervised using our proposed distortion disentangle laws, DDL for short, and the DIR part retains the baseline design. DDL is a loss function of orthogonality that achieve DVR extraction by forcing partial feature orthogonality of positive simple pairs. As mentioned earlier, DDCL can be applied to symmetric and asymmetric architectures. I will show more detail next. This is the overview and the loss function of DDCL when used for symmetric architectures. This is the overview and loss function of DDCL when used for asymmetric uh, architectures. It's, it's not hard to notice that the mapping operations of the DVR and the corresponding DIR are always synchronized. In the result session, I will describe the performance of DDCL in terms of several properties. First, I would like to provide a description of DDCL in terms of convergence and the quality of representation. The table on the left demonstrates that DDCL can considerably boost the performance with the small epoch settings. The table on the right indicates that DDCL enables the model to extract superior features under sufficient training. Interestingly, a comparable or even better performance than the baseline can be achieved by using only the DIR part with fewer dimensions. In the robustness study, we found that the DCL can be used to improve the robustness of a model by using more complicated data augmentation strategies. In our study on transfer learning, we found that the DCL with complicated data augmentation strategies can significantly improve the generalization ability of the model. In addition to the above studies, we also performed the ablation studies to explore batch size selection. The study approved that DDCL is completely batch size free. Now, I would like to present our proposed break study. This study breaks together DIRs and DVRs from the same instance or different instance under different distortions and thus linearly evaluates. We find that DVR from familiar or easier distortions can improve model performers. In another case, when the model encounters familiar distortions, the model can still maintain the performance even with DVRs from different instances. This suggests that the DVR information extracted by DTCL is more about distortion than the instance's con content. In this research, we propose a novel POCL framework DDCL and a novel loss function DDL. We consider DDCL to be very inspiring work and uh, in the future, we intend to study further the application of DDCL and the potential of DVR. That concludes my presentation today. Thank you for listening.